and I've got something to tell you. I've got a place in the sun. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, or before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Bonjour les poux. Ça va? Good morning. We're wet. Rainy. Miserable. Southwest of France. La Charente. Um, fortunate today. Oh, there's only a 95% chance of rain. <laughs> it's a very quick uh, intro today because uh, we're just off taking the kids to school and then we need to do the weekly shop, which I'm not recording. Um, and then uh, I'll come back and I'll uh, tell you about a facade um, that went on last night with Wally. So, nice mosaic transition. Now, go on, get out. They don't care, do they? Come on. Come on. Oh, this one's back in. Yeah, so back from shopping. Um, yeah, I've still not sorted out the the uh, the settings for this for this camera yet. Uh, it's been too busy. Anyway, so yesterday it was absolutely hammering it down with rain. So Lisa and I uh, made the decision to go down to Wally's field and try and bring y y Wally into his uh, into his little stable. Um, he walked up absolutely fine. He went in, went no thank you, and then came back out again. Just before I had a chance to put the chain on. Yes, yeah, so we managed to get him, get him in for the second time and last time. Uh, put the chain on. He just ducked right under. He copied me ducking under. Yeah, he did. Um, he copied Lisa ducking under. So uh, so today um, we've got Delphine. You're coming to see us. That's uh, Karina's daughter, our friend, and uh, she knows all about horses. And uh, what you need to do is try to entice them into a new home. Uh, with the uh, sweets and sweet, with, with treats and stuff. So that's what we're going to try and do today. But it's it's just non-stop raining. Um, so let's do that. Let's get a coat because it's raining. And I've got something to tell you about a place in the sun. I've got to tell you, I found out last week that our episode of A Place in the Sun is going to be aired in November. We don't know the date yet. And uh, they also want to... Have you got the carrots? Yeah. Oh, I have to go back and get the carrots, hold on. Got the carrots. Um, yeah, and tomorrow they're going to be interviewing us for a Place in the Sun magazine. Didn't even know they had one. Anyway, I'm going to not do much filming because I'm going to ruin this camera. But let's go down and see Wally. He's going to be soaked. Because of the weather, we're going to put off trying to get him into his uh, stable because I think he'll be too too distressed. It's going to rain like this right up into the weekend. Oh, while well, he's over, over in his corner. Oh, you just missed him. Nelly at us. Oh, and also our neighbours very kindly put Unique in the field to keep him company. But I think they've fallen out. <laughs> yeah, he meant to feed him at the same time, so I'm just waiting for Lisa to pop down to the bottom. So, uh, I don't know, are they, are they in competition? Are you right? Here then, go on. Unique. Oh, I think some bloody fingers off then. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no. Yo, Wally's not, not letting us out, he keeps blocking the air. Uh... Oh. 
Right, this camera's gonna get soaked. So I'm gonna put it away. But I just wanted to thank you all for all, for all your comments. Um, yesterday, all offering us advice and support, and a lot of you were quite emotional by Lisa getting, by Lisa getting Wally. So what I'm gonna spend the next few hours doing is changing the settings on this phone. Anyway, so, see you in a bit. Peter. <laughs> I know we've only had him for not even 48 hours yet, but he does that. He'll do an a nay as we're halfway up the hill, and then just before we go out of sight, he'll give us another one. Anyway, see you later. I'm singing mountain songs and making ends meet. But good enough ain't good nor enough. When going for gold, and things can get rough. What lies beyond the horizon? Let's go find out. Feeling free. before we pick the kids up from school. Um, so, nothing much done, apart from I have been onto YouTube to, to sort out these settings on this uh, on this camera. It's even better than before, uh, I think. Um, but apart from that, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you all had a wonderful Thursday evening. Um, kids are off after today for two weeks. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, so in answer to, to some questions, um, yeah, so Wally does have a stable, but he can't go in there just yet. Um, we are looking for a friend for him. So there is a, an organisation called the SPA. Um, I don't know what it stands for. I'm assuming it stands for Society Protection Animal. Only because we've got the RSPCA uh, in England, which is the Royal Society for the Protection of Animals. And uh, we're in talks with them to uh, house a, a rescued horse. Uh, what it is, you pay them 90 euros, like an admin fee. The horse is yours. Um, you need to pay for the or keep you for the food, um, to have his um, hooves done, uh, his injections and stuff. But if there's anything wrong with the horse and he need, needs medical treatment, they pay for it and they also deliver it so that seems like a an amazing uh, option for us so um yeah lisa sent them pictures of the stable pictures of the field um wally too um yeah the electric fencing yeah they're really happy and so they've sent us a form for that we're going to be doing some fence work um and uh so i need to go to collins from french country live make a description uh, to go and get his post whacker it's probably called something i don't know what it is but it's good because it gives me the, an opportunity to do a slow mo. So let's do that. Absolute no need for these. It's not raining. It's certainly not sunny. <laughs> Cue slow mo. Uh, 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 uh,
So let's go from here to here. Your destination is located. So we have Colin from French Countryside Life. Link in the description. He's got me a post whacker. Post whacker. Yeah, what are they called properly though? Um, post whacker. I like it. Yeah, so those of you that uh, also watch um, French Countryside Life will recognise. Although it is a bit of a tip at the moment, Colin. I've got, yeah, I've got to be honest yeah. with you. Sorry about that. Yes, yeah, so this way, this way, Colin does most of his weekly vlogs. In here, oh, we got Charlie. Oh, <laughs> you can't see him because he's a. Uh, where is he? There he is. It says that the oh, it's come back on me because the it says that the gimbal's uh, failing, so it's come back on me. Anyway, so that looks like a brand new post whacker, Colin. Yeah, it looks brand new. Well. It may look brand new, but it has actually whacked many a post. Right, so it wasn't set to rain. It wasn't set to rain this afternoon, um, but it is, which is really, really annoying because uh, Lisa and I have got a plan so cunning you can stick a tail on it and call it a fox. So what we want to do is we want to you get rid of this. As like a chicken pen because the chickens are proper free range now um and put up some permanent fencing so wally has at least got like a, a house and a garden and his and his friend when he gets a friend um so i need to knock some posts in and make it all electrified and get rid of all the rubbish that's in here there's there's loads of nettles and everything so um uh, yeah oh and we're not doing that interview either the clock we were waiting on a phone call from somebody that was going to interview us um, for a place in the Sun magazine. Um, come 20 past uh, one, I emailed uh, Freeform Productions, uh, who said, yeah, they're going to do it Monday now. It, it wasn't Freeform Productions' fault, because they'd uh, put it out to a freelance, who said, uh, they're going to do it Monday. And we said, no, we're not going to do it. <laughs> um, mainly on the count that the kids are going to be off next week. And we put things off in order to do that phone call. And we get nothing from it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so let's do some festival festivals.
Right, so there we have it. We've got a fully enclosed paddock with an electric fence, which is good because um, when we bring the horse up, bully up, all we're going to need to do is just open the uh, I'm on face track, so it's not going to do it, uh, the gate, and then just let him walk in. Then he can decide on whether he can walk in and out of the stables or not. Um, so we don't need a chain. So uh, yeah. I'm pretty proud of us today. Have a great weekend. Laters.